Did you, did you actually go? Yeah, or? it's going. It's going. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, this is a thing. It's a thing. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Wow. So this dungeon, this is a thing. This is a thing. You want me to talk about this dungeon? Yeah, let's talk about the dungeon. Well, no, we're talking about dungeons. Whoa, really? Multiple dungeons, yeah. not just this one? Wow. We're talking about anyway. Minecraft dungeons in general. Yeah, because they're pretty shit, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just stand alone. Like, I like how we're being like really cool about it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I broke it just then, but still. Oh, my my fourth wall. No. <laughs> Bastard. Go on, anyway, Jim. Present to so the yeah. crowd. So, gamer... Yeah, you're all gamer peons, so hello, gamer peons. Don't be anyway. saying them like that. They might not like it. Tough. They're watching. They're a gamer peon. <laughs> oh, I see. That's how it works. I see how it is. They're all ma yeah. They're binded to a, a they're digital contract. It's a bind on account, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Anyway, <laughs> go. <laughs> go. <laughs> so, yeah, Minecraft dungeons are pretty shit. I mean, they're just a cube underground, and you go in, and there's really piss poor loot, right? Hold on a second. You hold, hold, hold on a second. Wait, what? what's this series about? What's this? Oh, we need to explain the series. We've been skipping things here. Are oh you my goodness, I'm so sorry. I think you're cheating. Well, really, this series is me and you explaining what we would like to see improved or changed in Minecraft or added. Yeah. Because well, actually, it's not just us, but not just us, but yeah. because honestly, it's a pretty piss poor deal. Because we're Minecraft, right? You'd expect the developers to lead the way in ingenuity and in you know inventiveness of what goes on in the game, yeah? You'd expect to see the developers adding all the really awesome stuff, right? But no, it's the modders who are doing that, and I suppose that's kind of good. They're letting the community lead the way, but no. I want the developers to lead the way. They need to be setting the example, right? And they're not. Mm. They're letting the side down. They're doing a bad job. Well, okay. Of course, it's, well, it's pretty much not. Not just, not just a bad job. No, because, no, he's left. Well, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, Dinnerbone is—you know—he's—he's he's getting there. Dinnerbone is—is—he's leading the party and he's doing really good. Yeah, I like he's him. He's doing well. He's doing well. He's a cool chap. And this is what these videos are about. The, it's pretty much we—we we discuss topics of Minecraft. We might not agree on certain topics. You never know. Might have yeah. like huge flame wars. <coughs> or Actually, you like. and I disagree on a lot. So yeah. Then. So you're probably going to enjoy this series um, <laughs> if you like flaming. But anyway, um. Yeah, so yeah, like what Jim said, this is just well, a series of <laughs> random discussion of Minecraft, how we can, how the game could be improved. I feel bad. Oh, what? I want to, I want to interject and say I feel bad. Why? Because the, the developers of Minecraft aren't being, they're not shit, they're not bad, but they could be better. Oh yeah. The thing is, the sh yeah, I, I, what you said about the modders um, being, you know, like, oh yeah, setting the example, doing that kind of thing, it shouldn't be that. It shouldn't ever be that because modders are not the ones experienced with the engine, let's say, or something mm. like that. I mean, of course, this is Java, so you got a lot of experienced people, but not exactly experienced with the game at hand. The developers of the game will but, be able to create much more better stuff with yeah. you know, the tools in mind, stuff like that, like the bosses and stuff like that, because they have, have the proper game code. And I want them to set the example by adding all the cool stuff, and then the modders have got to compete with that and try beat that. Yeah. And that would make it such a good game if good. there was this competition between the devs and the modders trying to make this awesome content. That'd be quite In interesting, actually. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, anyway. I, don't imagine, I don't imagine some stuff like that happening. I mean, you would. F I can't imagine a game that's actually done something like that. I mean, of course, modders are kind of striving, I suppose, to be better than the game by adding stuff like mm. tech it and stuff like that, kind of like mm. compilation, com Definitely. something, something packs, I can't actually pronounce the A yet. But anyway, so this this is pretty much what the series is, discussion, yeah. topics, and also taking your topics and discussing them, because loads of people could be like, oh yeah, we, we love this idea, and we might not be a good idea, and yeah, might not you... be, this is our insight. Yeah, why don't you... okay, yeah, if you have an idea, why don't you tell us it, and we'll, we'll give... A thought on that if idea. It's a quick idea. You can just comment. Uh, but if it's a more vivid idea, uh, much more explanation required, you could just you know, send us a private message via YouTube. But anyway, or video, or vid response, or video and response. we'll watch. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. But anyway, yeah. So discussing dungeons, Jim. Yeah, so dungeons. Away. Boring cube underground, right? Piss poor loot. The only thing worth in there is a saddle, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, we, yeah, we we can all agree on that. Pretty we're, much. we're friends. We're we're fellow peons. Yeah, we can, we can agree on this. So I thought, some kind of cool reason for there being zombies and skeletons, right? Creepers. Oh no, they're an abomination. Anyway, so if you follow me, well, on this technically, 
technically, I won't exactly be following you, but uh, sure. Uh, this is like this is like an Audacity recording, um, layered oh, over right. video clips oh, and images. Oh, we're just gonna add the images in later. I am. Oh, okay, right, fair enough. Do you want to keep going? <laughs> anyway, so you, the listeners, can't see, but I can see. A They'll bit, be able to see. A, okay, a bit is we'll put up an image later. Is I have designed Video. a crypt. Yep. This is a crypt. This is the outside. And what I thought is, for dungeons at a certain height, well, technically depth underground, they would have this crypt entrance. Yeah. And you'd be able to wander into this crypt entrance, into. I suppose it's the bowels. I've only made it simple as an, an entrance, stair and then a staircase leading to the actual dungeon room, which you know. But the dungeon room is filled with crypt-looking things, like coffins, with the mob spawner in the middle and then the chest on the side. Yeah. But it gets more complex than that. I mean, I suppose you could add your own set of traps or add a, I suppose, maybe several dungeon complex, like small complex, say four or so rooms. Mm -hmm. but here's where it sort of gets better I suppose mm -hmm. is what mob is being spawned in here so I've made a tomb type thing so you could guess zombies right the loot in the chest would correspond with the mob being spawned so if it was zombies you'd get I don't know, suppose swords and armor that a zombie may have used in a past life or tools maybe since zombies are like X miners like Steve, mm -hmm. default skin. Yeah. So you may get tools that that miner once used. If it was skeletons, maybe you got a bow and arrows. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know, maybe other stuff. But then if it was spiders, unfortunately I'm yet to design a spider den. Maybe you'd find like a spider den underground with cobwebs everywhere and lots of little spidery holes where spiders come out from. And then the loot in there would correspond with spiders. So maybe it's just pure potion making stuff um since that's all you really get from spiders apart from string you know stuff mm -hmm. like that to yeah. make the dungeons the spice of life so yeah so like jim said pretty much the whole idea of the dungeon at the moment at its current point in minecraft is kind of dull no one really gives a damn about it it's nice to it's nice to find a dungeon i suppose but pretty much the only use of it is to find cocoa beans and saddles but even then cocoa beans can you can be found in uh, 1.3.2 oh. or something like that, in jungles, in weird sack thing magic. So it's completely taken out the entire point of one. I mean, I guess it's nice to find stuff in chests, but it's not really useful. Now, like Jim said, we have various different design ideas, let's say, for dungeons. And if, depending on what level they are, is also how difficult they are, both to how they look, how they represent themselves. And that also corresponds with um, the different mob types that will be spawning in there. Like instance webs everywhere, kind of weird looking if there were spiders. And also the different types of loot that will drop in the chests uh, from the different type of mobs that are also spawning. That adds a bit of variety into the dungeons. You're not just going to find the same crap that you usually do. My, my language. But anyway. Mm -hmm. So like if the dungeon was to be fairly close to the ground. You can't see it's still underground, but let's say it was 10 blocks away from the ground level. It would automatically generate itself from either location a little bit of a, uh, an entrance, let's say, that uh, elevates its position from using a stair or something like that, which then will let you go into the square room like you usually see in Minecraft. Uh, yep. Only the difference is that it looks different depending on what the mob type is. For instance, yes. the zombies, there's loads of graves, and also in the chest, there's uh, more zombie esque stuff like armor or tools, stuff like that. The thing yep. is, though, it's a lot more simple, or, well, not com a little bit more complex than that, because it is different generally every single time. Yep. So that's how pretty much our idea of the dungeon. Um, yep. It's pff, it's just a much better idea for a dungeon. I mean, obviously, we've seen stuff like the jungle shrine. And the sand temple, stuff like that. But even then, <sighs> they're boring in they themselves. They are kind of dull, aren't they? I mean, this is just a small idea, to be honest. They can completely expand on the random generation of ruins and stuff like that in the Minecraft universe. You could even have, you know, m maybe a little graveyard outside, something like that, to you know, maybe represent difficulty or something like that. But no. Anyway, yeah. But I mean, you know, you look at other mobs like uh, <laughs> mods like kind of. I can't remember it, what the mod's called. It was like something dungeons. Uh, but pretty much... Like better dungeons? Better dungeons, that, is, yeah. Better, is that it? Yeah, better dungeons. And, you know, pretty much what that does is spawns a bunch of really awesome dungeons with uh, 
cool mobs and stuff like that. Mm. And I mean, they could really expand on the idea on the original Minecraft world by just kind of adding to the current dungeons. There's nothing wrong. I don't personally. I don't think there'd be no, There would there would be nothing wrong with developers of Minecraft taking ideas from mods and just suppose designing them their own way. Yeah. Because it's their game. It well, <laughs> yeah. And also that mods are a reflection of what the community want, and isn't that what Minecraft should be trying to, you know, cater for? Exactly. And also, you know, where the hell's Not our mod the API? Sense. But anyway. <laughs> but yeah, you know. Yeah. It, they're trying to work for the, you know, they're trying to do stuff that the community wants. So why don't you just rip some ideas off mods? I mean, they're using your game to make their ideas. You use their mods, you know, to. But in your game, I mean, I don't think they'll mind. Exactly. I mean, I'm just, I think they'll be happy. Yep. It's not like they're making money off a mod, are they? <laughs> are they? I don't know. Are they? <laughs> they might be making, like, viewer counts or something like that. Mm. Maybe with representations on YouTube. Or Then again, they'll need parties <laughs> and stuff like that. Represent! Rep no, we're not doing that. We're not doing best, that, okay? Best side. So anyway, yeah, I hope this has been a little bit of insight into the dungeons, let's say, and how they could improve them in Minecraft. I'm sure oh. we had a bunch of other ideas. I actually can't remember what else we had. I think that's pretty much it. Like with dungeons, odd. it's pretty much look at mods, and you pretty much get an idea of what the community wants. Pretty much. <laughs> we've we've gone on a tangent. We've gone on a totally different thing. We went from dungeons to mods. No, and mods, and mods are like uh, you know you got to compare it to something. That's so, we're not know, Minecraft mods. Comparison. Okay. okay. Minecraft Infinite Miner. Comparison. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this little look at dungeons. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, little look here, like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any ideas on stuff you think we should discuss, uh, we'll probably go in depth-ish, or probably go on like seven billion tangents or something like that. But you know, feel free to comment on your idea, or if it's a more in-depth comment, then uh, or idea, then uh, just private message us over YouTube. Please don't spam us, and please don't spam Debs uh, if you enjoy an idea that we have. Represented, let's say that's kind of dickish. You wanna, you wanna say a final word, Jim? Dungeons are boring. Make them better. <laughs> I'll just re, I'll just reiterate on the whole point of the episode, really. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, anyway. Let's do. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye. Yes, me too. I need to pee.